Hey, I'm Nick Davis. I work for Duramax Service Center. We are doing a pan replacement on a 10L1000 on this 2024 on the rack. This one's a PPE style, getting away from the stock ones though. Well, the benefit of this one is the drain plug right here. So instead of dropping the whole pan down, even though you can't get all the fluid out of it, it makes quite a mess. So I'm a little bit covered in fluid right now, just from that. So there's still a fill check though. You need that, especially on this L1000, you have to, you have, to have a check plug to check the level on that. So this one's got, a lot more capacity, about four quarts, about a gallon. A little bit more of a benefit for keeping the fluid cooler and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I like the design, the black with the brush on the bottom looks good. Overall, looks like a pretty good product, so. We're gonna go ahead and put this uh, on the 2024 we have outside on the rack, see what it looks like. So to drain the stock pan, I usually pull the check plug, to get most of the fluid out, but it's gonna get only to a certain level. To actually drain the sock pan, you have to pull the pan. So the internal filter has two eight millimeter volts that are holding the filter in. You gotta remove those and then basically just crack it and let it leak out that way, so. Yeah, so when you get the new internal filter, you're gonna wanna take the O-ring. That doesn't come on the filter, so you gotta put that into the pump first. Make sure you lube it up and then you can install the internal filter and bolt it in. If you forget the seal, it's gonna be a problem. You're gonna start aerating the fluid, it's not good, so. Gonna clean up all the surfaces, gonna set up all the uh, Allens with the washers. And then I like to set it up there with two bolts with the pan gasket set up and then just kind of run them down two bolts. That way you get it started. And then sometimes I like to get four bolts started. That way none of the corners are cocked like that when you go to start all the bolts. Sequence for torque in that is in the instructions, but a uh, star pattern basically. Just like anything else, like a trans pan stock, you would cross torque it too. So, so for the torque spec, just for further instructions on that. So to fill the 10 speeds, uh, we have a transfer pump here. This one comes with a, a fitting for our application, hooks into the side of the transmission to fill it up pretty nicely. But the way we do this is fill it up and then you can either pump it, there's a little pumper on top, or you can fill it with like a little tire gauge, put pressurize in it. And then there's a valve to open that pressure and it's gonna basically push the fluid out into the side of the transmission. So the fill procedures for stock pan PPE, it's all gonna be pretty similar. Just the PPE pan's gonna take a lot more fluid. There is a eight millimeter or 5 16 Allen uh, fill plug on the side of the transmission on the passenger side. You're going to want to remove that. Make sure the check plug is in the pan. You want to fill that up until you start seeing fluid come out of the check. It gets tricky because when you go to fill them up, you're not going to be able to know how much fluid's in there when you start it. So you want to fill it in and then make sure it's coming out of the check plug. And once it comes out of the check plug, put the uh, plug back in it, start the truck, and only run it for like five, 10 seconds to get some fluid to basically circulate throughout the system and then shut it off, fill it more with the chuck plug out, make sure it's draining out. 
might want to do that a couple times, depending on if you've removed valve bodies, this and that, it gets kind of tricky. So there's not really, it's not like old school, you know, early Duramax where we have a dipstick to check. It's going to be kind of tough. So you got to have to really kind of use some common sense on filling those things. So. So now I'm going to run it and pull that back. To actually check the correct food level, you're going to want to get it to 167 to 176 is what GM recommends. And at that temperature, you should be able to pull the check plug and you should have a, like a slow, steady stream coming out of that. If it's overfilled, it'll self-level itself. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more expert tips and how-tos. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for updates and behind-the-scenes content. For more detailed information and our full range of services, visit our website at DermaxServiceCenter.com.